is up you guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i got madison with me my girl maddie and today we're going to be demonstrating how to do individual eyelash extensions okay so i'm going to show you the stuff that we need and we're going to get right into it okay so first you're going to be needing this plate and it's a glass plate or something that you want to put your glue and your individual lashes on so I have tape right here on this plate because I'm going to put the glue on there and I don't want it to get stuck to this. So we're going to be needing that. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to keep that on my right side. You're going to be needing your individual lashes. They also come like this, but these are some that uh, my teacher gave to me to use. So I'm going to put these, these rows of these lashes So these are ran basically off of numbers. All right, so I got my lashes on the plate. I got the shortest to the longest. I'm not really sure what numbers these are right here because like I said, I grabbed the, I got these from my teacher, but on my pack that I'll be using on my clients, they're numbered. They're all numbered. So yeah, next you'll be needing your tongs. These are the tongs that you'll be needing. You of course are gonna need your eyelash glue. And you're gonna need your spoolie, yeah? I'm gonna drop a couple of dots of that glue. Okay, so I got my dot of my glue on there. And I'm starting with the longest ones because I'm starting on the outside of her eyes and working my way up. So I already applied a couple of these to Madison's eyes prior practice. So I'm just going to be filling it in and making it look more full. So you're going to be taking that lash down one hair. Can you guys see that? That one hair, you're going to slide it through. Slide in, make sure you ain't got no lumps and no bumps on there. So as you can see, I applied that one lash. You wanna pick up the lash too and make sure that it's stuck on there right. Make sure that lash is um, dry all the way. Okay, this is an old one. Okay, no. okay, so you wanna make sure that lash is dried all the way or it will stick to the rest of your other lashes. Okay, so make sure it's singularly dry. Okay, so after I apply that one lash, I'm just gonna brush over it. Remember, I'm just doing fill-ins for today. This might not be a video, that's uh, it's not the easiest thing ever. Okay, so I think that's a little better. I drop it off on the side. I don't like dropping off on the top or on the bottom. Simply because the bottom of the lash will come up. And that is so annoying because you can't restick it. Once you already got it on there, you have to use the remover to get it off or it will be painful for your client. So you wanna be careful because this is a real tedious, tedious job. Another thing, you wanna keep some space. You wanna keep some space from between the client's water line up here, lash line up here, and the individual lash. So like, you wanna go like a little bit from that, yeah? So you wanna make sure you open it all the way up independently 
all the way to the root, okay? Because if not, the root from the previous lash, your lashes that's all over here and on the other side, it will stick, okay? So I'm just letting this dry. Making sure it ain't stuck to the little friend over here. And keeping it separate from everyone. Lifting it up a little. Making sure it's not, I'm not getting no stickage or none of that, yeah? So it takes us just a little bit to dry. I'm not talking about like no five seconds or no 10 seconds. If you do 10 seconds or five seconds, you will risk the eyelashes sticking together. So I'm thinking like 35 to 45 seconds, if that. Yes. So I'm taking my wand and I'm just brushing those lashes out. Making sure I can see what I'm doing and what I got going on. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna keep continuing to do the same exact process. If you see them stuck together on your client, then you wanna open it up where you see that it's stuck at. You wanna take the lash and you wanna hold their lash, their real lash. Sorry. And you wanna banana peel this off. So that's the easy way to take them off. Be very careful when you're doing that process though because it is very tedious. And then we'll get our line all the way along. So make sure you rest in this hand over here. I'm gonna take that lash. And lay it on sideways. And right now I'm just cleaning it up, making sure it's intact and all the way on there. Because I don't want my client's lashes to peel off. I want them to last. Keep it open all the way through the root. And remember, you want the eyelash and this lash to be sisters. It just makes them way more whimsical. And it gives you like more of that bushy lash. So like if you want the bushy look, then you can leave a little bit of your client's eyelash at the end out. Okay, so I just did that one, and we are brushing from the bottom and up, up, up. I don't like brushing down. I mean, I do, but I prefer to brush up, cause like up give you like it gets in there. Yeah. So I'm just going in and looking to see. I don't have any hairs. I don't got anything on there. And I found one in there. So remember, you want it facing downward. And open it all the way. And set it side by side. Keep it separate away from all the other lashes. She is getting more volume to her lashes compared 
to this side. It's not that much, as much volume at the ends and at the tips. But I should have been, I should have dried by now. Can I just separate in those lashes? Okay, I got them separated. They can't stick together. You don't want your, eye, your client's eyelashes to be stuck together, okay? So if they stuck together, you ain't doing it right, boo. Needs to be separate all the way throughout the roots. So everybody got their own individual columns, okay? Their own columns. Yeah? So all is one by one. They all got their own columns. Okay, then sometimes find your, um, your individual lash on the client's natural lashes with tweezers over here on the left and then go in with the ones on the right. It's not really no fool. You just gotta be able to be to demonstrate this stuff. Like I said, I'm still in school, you guys, so I am still learning. So. My technique for this is not all the way where I want it to be. But y'all gonna see my prints. Just like that. See, it gets a little bit more easier as you go. You wanna have confidence with this, okay? So. Letting that one dry on its own. Don't wait for me to be done. No new friends. <laughs> I'm just gonna let these tweezers open themselves all the way out while that lash dries. she's dry and I do this after every lash you guys spoolie through make sure everything is evenly proportioned and on their looking right okay so everything is good I don't really got them they're not messed up and they're not crossing over real bad or nothing be careful to pay attention to your glue because it will get tacky and it will get sticky. So you definitely want to keep some glue over there on the side. And change out the glue like every like 20, 15, well like 10, 15 minutes. Probably even, yeah, 10, 15 minutes, so I say. So now I'm going in and I'm fishing again. Looking at this. Whoopin' the whoop. Got him. Alright. So I'm fishing for that individual lash. I am pressing this hand down to the forehead of my client. So I can give him exactly what it is that I'm looking for. Remember, be careful not to go all the way down towards the client's lash line because when they open their eyes, they will feel these lashes. When they open their eyes, they will feel the lashes if you put them close to the eyelash line and it will not, trust me, it will not end well, okay, you guys? They are not going to like that at all gonna hurt them and you're gonna have to remove the lashes so we're just letting this one dry mm -hmm. ouch stop 
fuck myself. So then, of course, we going in with the spoolie to brush it out. And so we'll be able to find our next lash. The closer you get in the inside is when you want to start using the short ones. But right now, I'm still on the long lashes. So all in that outer corner, you want long. And a little bit in the middle. Don't OD in the middle. It's like the middle end. You also want to stress to your client the upkeep and how to keep up with these lashes because you have to clean these lashes. You have to. Your client has to clean their lashes like almost every three to five days. If you wear heavy makeup, I would say every two days or whenever you wear the makeup, I would clean the top of my lashes do a light scrub on the top of my lashes just so I can make sure I don't have any makeup caked up or any of that on the eyelash line. Okay. So I think that one's pretty dry there. Okay. Right now, I'm just like going through the lashes. Some of these are already have lashes on them. Some of these small ones up in here, where it looks like I didn't apply anything, there, 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 the, there are already small lashes right there. So yeah, I'm basically giving my client a fill and then and an increase, like making them a little bit longer. Yeah. Cause she want them full honey. Period honey. Going fishing. Going fishing again. Oh my god, bucking. Before you grab another lash, you want to make sure that your tweezers don't have any excess glue on them because if they do, you will be wasting the hell out of these little lashes, okay? So make sure you don't have glue before you do every swipe, literally. Don't put too much pressure on the lash because it will curl up. And you are not trying to have lashes curly at the end remember what I told you guys we want sister lashes we want the client's lashes to look like sisters when we're applying it, that's why we put it so close to each other, side by side, just like sisters. Just like when you do your eyebrows. They don't got to be identical. Majority everybody eyebrows are not identical, but you still want to make sure that those eyebrows are somewhat similar. Same blood type. <laughs> Okay, so we're just letting this dry. As you can see, I always separate the lashes and make sure that you can see this one lash right here as it gets, as it's going on there. All of these right here are already dried up, so you don't have to worry about those or nothing happening with those. But you just want to go in. I mean, if you want to, you can do like a light little tap on the lashes see if they dry so yeah that one's dry so 
See, that's why I like going upward. See? Separate them all so that I can see where everyone is in their own lane. Alrighty. So y'all like, dang, you still ain't done at the end? No. This takes time, okay? Take your time. Do not rush this. You could risk damaging the client's eyes. And being seen, okay? So take your time with this process. Do not rush through it. Anybody who rushes through this is questionable in my opinion. Cause it's just like, are the lashes even together? Are they sticking together, you know? I mean, are they like, are they stuck on there? Do you got clumps? Is they sticking together? Like, it's so many questions. Okay, you guys. If you find that lash getting caught up with the other lashes, don't worry. Just switch out hands. Maneuver with your uh, your finger. And just like that, you got the lash back out. You don't want to press down like that. Like, see how right here I'm pressing down? You don't want to press down like that. And I, and, and I say that strongly because you don't want to crunch the lashes. I recommend clients not even putting on mascara with these, but I mean you can't you can if you like, but they will last definitely that last longer if you're not putting on mascara with this. Yeah. Another thing you want to have the same consistency on space, and I say space as in up here by the waterline. You want to have that same consistency for the simple reasons. You simply want them all to look professional and clean, and you want them to look the same. So you want them to have all the same lineage, yeah? So just finish that one. And then I gotta make sure that one was dry. Get that fatter to the one. Two C. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Let me show you guys how Madison's eyelashes is looking so far. So these are all the ones that was applied today. And these are all the ones that was that is previously on Madison's eye. So as you can see, I still have a lot of filling in here. So I have to fill in some. And in the front, like in the beginning right here, I like to add the smallest lash that I could find. The smallest lash that I got. So the majority of those are going to stay small. Because I want her to have that bushy look, sis. So as you can see, I'm jumping around a little bit. Going from beginning to end. I mean, from the middle to the end. I'm simply doing this because I don't like to glue them directly next to each other right after each other because you will have them like um sticking together so you want to like bounce around some you know bounce around sis make sure when you're wiping your glue off too you're not wiping off all of your glue That one went on so perfect. See, after a while, you get the hang of it for sure. This is definitely for ladies 
people want that um, natural look, but they want extensions on their lashes. Get these. It's really cool. It's, I mean, it's good. These are good. These are great for those type of women that don't really do their makeup every day. Don't feel like, you know, putting on mascara like that and all that stuff. Just want that natural, voluminous look. This is really great for that. And if you want like really dark um, and real full, full, full look, and you want a little bit more dramatic, then you'll go with the clusters. And I'll be showing you guys that on another video. So, yes. I'll be doing the clusters video as well. So I'm just letting that dry up some more. I'll talk to you guys. I'll track a little bit here. Okay. So I'm just letting all of these lashes right here dry up. And then, you know, you want to lift from under here. Because you want to make sure that they're not sticking. Sticking is terrible. If the lashes are sticking at the bottom here, then you want to remove the lashes off of your client and practice somewhere. Yeah? Because you will make your client go blind. You can risk your client going blind by not paying attention to the lashes sticking at the bottom. They cannot be on the waterline. Do you guys understand? Please, please, it is so important to not put these lashes on the waterline, okay? They will hurt your client. Your client will cry. Maybe you will get an attitude and never want to come back for your service, okay? So just be real tedious with your client and take your time. Care for your client like you care for your your own lashes, like as if you're doing your own lashes. Or like as if you're doing your mother's lashes. Well, everyone's not close to their mom, but as if you're doing your own lashes, right? Okay, so. Maddie is such a great client, y'all. This girl ain't talked the whole time. She just went in here. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm finding my next victim. I like to find it previous before even picking up and stuff because the glue will dry up on you if you take it way too long. I mean, you want to be quick, but you don't want to be too quick to where your technique is just not there, yeah? Another thing is you want to keep the same technique all the way through. So find you. Find out how you really like to hold the, the um, your tweezers. Find out what works for you. Because I know some people like to sit their lash from the top. You cannot sit from the bottom, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that. You cannot sit the lashes from the bottom. You could go from the left, from the right, and from the top, okay? to get an effective look without hurting your client. So I'm just letting her lash dry. And I'm holding it there, of course. Just letting that lash dry up. I'm pushing these other ones apart. You wanna let these tweezers open up all the way. I'm not sure if I said that, but I feel like I should mention it again. And when I say open up, I mean open up from the your real the client's real lashes. Right, excuse the water sound in the background. Um, my wife is washing the dishes. Okay, so I am pretty much done showing you guys the basic uh the basics of applying individual lashes. 
These are all of the previous lashes that I applied. These are all previously applied lashes. So these been on for about a good two to three weeks. I did this set over here. And these are the newest ones right here that I just did with you guys. This end right here. And as you can see, they're real fluffy. They're intact. You could brush through and everything. There are still some, um, some that I applied here previous in the beginning. And these were shorter. I did not do these ones right here on camera. You can see them. I only did these ones at the end on camera today, you guys. So, yes, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning into my video and watching the basics on how to do individual lashes. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you can know every time I make a post, you guys. And stay tuned because I have some more content dropping this week. Um, I want to thank you guys for your support. And yeah, thank you guys. Happy holidays.